Hello everyone, welcome to our video series of interview questions for digital design. In this video, I will explain how we can design various kits using our marks. So by the end of the video, you will be able to learn how we can design any given logic expression or Boolean expression using our marks. So first I'll start with not kit, how we can design a not kit using our marks. So before starting, first I'll start with the basic introduction of 2 is to 1 marks. I will explain what is the functionality of a 2 is to 1 marks. So a 2 is to 1 marks has one select signal and two data input lines and one output port. So whenever our select signal is zero, our output selects the first data input line. That is I0. So whatever value is set at I0 will be set as the output whenever our select signal is 0. Similarly, when our select signal is 1, our output selects the second data input line that is I1. So whatever value is assigned at the I1 port will be set as the output when select signal is 1. So this is what I have explained in the truth table. So when select signal is 0, our output is I0. And when select signal is 1, our output is I1. Same can be uh, defined in our Boolean expression as select bar dot I0 plus select dot I1. So here I will explain two ways for realizing a not get using a 2 is to 1 marks. So first understand with the truth table of inverter. So the output of an inverter is obtained by inverting our inverting the value of the input signal. So whenever the input is 0, our output is 1. And whenever the input is 1, our output is 0. So here, since our inner 2 is to 1 marks, we have three input port. One is select signal and two I0 and I1. So if I tie our input port to select signal, now the next thing we have to figure out is what values we need to tie at I0 and I1 to realize the inverter. So I, when I tie the input uh, port to select signal, we can now easily compare the truth table of our 2 is to 1 marks with our to table of inverter. So if I replace I0 with I1 and if I replace I1 with I0, we uh, get the truth table of an uh, inverter only. So here in here we can see that we can tie the data input signal, data input line I0 with I1 and data input line I1 with I0 when the input is connected to the select line. So at the output we'll get the inverter. We can see through this the now the second way is we can realize this using the boolean expression also. So here in the inverter, the boolean expression is out is equals to n bar. And the boolean expression of uh, max is this. So here we want uh, input bar only. So we can replace select with n. This is what we have done here. We can replace select with n and uh, we can multiply it with 1. So we can set i0 to 1 so that we can get n bar alone. And since we do not want in, in as it is, so we can uh, uh, set I1 to 0. And this is what we have done here. I1 we have uh, tied to 0 and I0 we have tied to 1. The same as. And here we get the output as input bar. Yeah. So after then, I will explain uh, how we can realize our buffer using inverter. So similarly, here also, we can try to compare the truth table of our buffer with our with our uh, with the truth table of our, our two is to one marks. So here, here also we'll tie our input signal at the select port, and now we can compare what needs to be connected at I zero and I one. So here, by seeing this, we can see that I can replace I zero with zero and replace I one with one to realize the truth table of our buffer. So here I have connected uh, 0, I have tied 0 to the I0 port and I have uh, connected 1 to the I1 port to realize a buffer and input is connected to the select signal. So our output is realized as input bar dot 0 that is I0 plus input dot 1 that is I1 and we get out equals to in which is the equation of our buffer. So this is how we can convert our NOT gate and buffer using our 2 is to 1 box. Next, we'll move to our next kit that is AND kit. So here, I've already explained the truth table of our 2 is to 1 box. So I'll move to 
at the table of a AND gate. So the AND gate is obtained, the output of a AND gate is obtained by multiplying the two inputs that is A and B. So here the output will be only one when both the input A and B are one. So now here also I can connect my one of the input that is A to the select port and can analyze what needs to be connected at I0 and I1 to realize the AND gate. So if we see, analyze the output table, if we see the output, so we can see that whenever our one of the input that is A is 0, our output is always 0. So if we compare it with the two table of uh, marks, this is our select signal and input is 0. Now I0 needs to be connected to 0. Now if we see the second box, whenever the input is 1, our output depends on the value of B. If B is 0, our output is 0 and if B is 1, so output is 1. So we can simply say that our output is V whenever our input A is set as 1. So here we can replace I1 with V. So this is what we have done here. We have tied uh, I0 to 0 and we have tied I1 to B. So we can realize this using our boolean expression also. So if I compare my boolean expression of AND gate with boolean expression of 2 is to 1 max, since I need A dot B, so I can set this I0 to 0 so that this terms become 0 and I can set select to A and I want to B so that I get output as A dot B. So this is how we can realize our AND gate using a 2 is to 1 max. Next I will explain how we can realize a OR gate using a 2 is to 1 max. So uh, as you all know that the output of a OR gate is obtained by adding the two input signal that is A plus B. So here whenever one of the input is 1 our output is 1. So here we see when one of the input that is A is 0 our output that is 0 1 depends on the our, our second input port that is B. So if B is 0, our output is 0 and if B is 1, so output is 1. So here we can directly replace out as B. Similarly, if our input signal A is 1, we can say that our output is always 1. So here also we can replace our output with 1. So if now we can compare our truth table with our other truth table of marks. That is when select signal is 0, we can connect I0 to 1 and when select signal is 1, we can connect I1 to 1. So this is what we have done here also. We have tied our I0 with B and we have tied our I1 to 1. Similarly, we can realize our OR kit using our 2 is to 1 marks by analyzing our Boolean expression also. So if I set A as the select signal, so A bar will be set and uh, if I connect I0 with B, so a, we get a bar b plus and if I set uh, and if I tie 1 at the i1 so we get a bar b plus a dot 1. So we get a plus a bar b and a, per, a plus a bar b is equal equivalent to a plus b only. So this is how we can realize our or get using a 2 is to 1 max. Now I will move to the next gate that is xor gate. So here if you see. Similarly, if I connect our input signal A at the uh, select port, we can see when A is 0, our output depends on the B, like output is equals to B. And similarly, when A is 1, our output is inverted of B. So we can say that when A is 0, our output is V and when A is 1, our output is equivalent to B bar. So uh, similarly, if I compare with the table of our marks, we can connect our I0 with B and I1 with B bar. And if I put the same in the equation of our 2 is to 1 marks, like select signal I replace with A and I0 with B and I1 with B bar, I can get my XOR, a Boolean expression of XOR kit. So this is how I have realized XOR kit using a 2 is to 1 marks. Now we'll move, next move to how we can realize x not get using a 2 is to 1 marks. So similarly here also I can um, uh, tie our input signal A to the select port. And similarly here we can uh, analyze the dependency of our output B. 
So when A is 0, our out is inverted of B. And when A is 1, our output is same as B. So that's how we can tie our I0 with B bar and I1 with B. And if I and select with A. So similarly, if I replace select with A and I0 with the B bar and I1 with B, we get the Boolean expression of our XNOR gate. So this is how we can uh, realize XNOR gate using 2 is to 1 marks. So one important question from here for the interview is how many 2 is to 1 marks are required for realizing a XNOR gate using a 2 is to 1 marks. So here we have seen 1 marks but we do but to realize this B bar also we need 1 inverter also. And we have seen in our previous slides to realize our inverter uh, that can be realized using a 1 2 is to 1 marks. So for realizing our XNOR gate we need 2 marks that is 2 2 is to 1 marks. Similarly for XOR also we need since B bar is required here also so here also we would need an inverter and for inverter we need 1 2 is to 1 marks. So for realizing XOR gate also we need 2 2 cross 1 marks. Up till now we have seen how we can uh, realize any two input uh, boolean expression using a 2 is to 1 marks. Now in the next slide I will explain how we can realize a three input boolean expression using a 4 is to 1 marks. So here I will explain with the example of a full adder. So first I will explain the structure of a 4 cross 1 marks. So you know similar to a 2 cross 1 marks, a 4 cross 1 marks has two select lines and four data input lines. So whenever are the select lines S0 and S1 are 0, 0, the output selects the first data input line that is I0. So the value at I0 is set at the output port. And similarly, when our S0 is 1 and S1 is 0, output selects the data line I1. And similarly, when S1 is 1, S0 is 1, output selects I2. And similarly, when S1 and S0 both are 1, then output select I3. So this is the Boolean expression of a 4 is to 1 marks. Now I will explain uh, how we can uh, realize a full adder using a 4 plus 1 mark. So first we will understand whether uh, how the sum is calculated in a uh, full adder. So for full adder we have two output. One is sum and another is C out. In this slide first I will explain how we can realize sum output using a 4 plus 1 mark. So as we know that sum is obtained by exhorting the three input that is a p and carry input uh, so so like for 0 0 0 our sum will be 0 and if we add 0 plus 0 plus 1 our sum is 1 similarly we realize our truth table so if i connect my input signal a at port s0 and input b at select signal at select port s1 now we can analyze uh, how sum will be dependent on uh, input port C. So when the AB is 0, 0, we can see our sum is 0 when C is 0 and our sum is 1 when C is 1. So sum depends directly on C. So that's where I0 is connected to C. And when our input A and B are 0, 1, we can see our sum is 1 when C is 0 and sum is 0 when C is 1. So, our sum is inverted of C. So, we have connected C bar to I1. Similarly, when A is 1, 0, we can see that sum is basically inverted of C bar. So, we have connected C bar to I2. Similarly, when AB is 1, 1, our sum is equivalent to C and that's why we have connected our C to the port I3. And for uh, C bar, we need one more 2 is to 1 marks also. So for uh, realizing a sum output of a full ladder, we will need one 2 cross 1 marks and one 4 cross 1 marks. Now, let's move to how we can realize C out of full ladder using a 4 is to 1 marks. Similarly, 
the Boolean expression of C out is AB plus AXRB dot C. And now this is our truth table of carry out. So here also, if I connect the input signal A at select signal S0 and input signal B at select signal S1, we can see that when AB are both 0, we can see that our C out is always 0. So we can tie our I0 to 0 directly. Similarly, we can see that when our AB are 0, 1, we can see our carry out is equivalent to carry in. So we can directly connect I1 to carry in. Similarly, when AB are 1, 0, here also our carry out is equivalent to carry in. So for I2 also, we can directly connect carry in. And when AB are 1, 1, we can see that the carry out is always 1. So we can tie I3 with one. So this is how we can realize the, our carry out uh, by only using 4 cross 1 marks. So here we can see the total number of marks is required to realize a full header is 2 4 cross 1 marks and 1 2 cross 1 marks. So here we have learned that by analyzing our truth table we can realize any given boolean expression using a 4 cross 1 marks or a 2 cross 1 marks. Thank you everyone. For more such kind of videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.